Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Um, we're going to be doing a New Year's reading. So thank you for spending some time with me. This is my little thank you to you guys for your likes, your comments, and your subscribes. Really appreciate it. So this is for December 31st through January the 1st. This is a New Year's reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sides in Gemini. Gemini, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you or a couple oracle cards. We'll see what comes out. There we go. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Wow. Some of you guys might have done like a little uh, New Year's makeover. Changing your hair, your clothes. Uh, you guys might be surprising some people. What is this? The night of wands. Yeah. Somebody finds you very attractive or you're looking your best right now. You are really like hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you might have done this like literally overnight. You guys might have gone from dark hair to super light hair. What is this? The world card, the ending of an old chapter, the beginning of a new one. This might be actually boosting your, your self-confidence. And um, some of you might have said, you know what? Out with the old, in with the new. Out with the old year, in with the new year, and out with the old me, in with the new me. Some of you guys might be cutting that hair real short that was long, changing the hair color, dressing differently, deciding to focus on you. Page of Wands. This is like planning a journey. And I feel like some of you guys are really like focused and planned on, on what you want for the new year. Making it happen a little early. Tell me more. It's exciting. I like this energy. King of Cups. Some of you guys might be very trustworthy people. Some of you guys might uh, actually um, have somebody loving in your life right now that you're happy with. Somebody that finds you a source of unconditional love yeah somebody finds you really attractive you got somebody that wants to get together with you on new year's and it's either your partner that you're already with or somebody that you've been involved with or somebody new we're gonna see somebody that wants to give a little bit to your cup a little bit to you want to give a little bit to their cup this is give and take with someone yeah this is this ace of wands is coming out in a lot of readings <laughs> but i read it's new year's uh, <laughs> there's a lot of wow and all my cards just like fell out turned over <laughs> let's see clarify this knight of wands in this world card all right what is this Success and victory. Success in this in this uh, changing of this old chapter into the new one. You're doing this successfully. You're doing this with ease. You're going to be making this look um, actually like really easy. Some people are going to be like, wow, what did you do and how did you do it? I want to know. What's your secret? What goes around comes around. I feel like many of you have put a lot of love and energy into yourselves, into the world, self-care, and have healed yourself from past situations. And I feel like a lot of you, Gemini, right now have your eyes open and you're just ready for the new. You're ready to take on something new in a bold new way. This is the end of feeling burdened by something. This is the end of feeling like you've been stabbed in the back from somebody. This is the end. These are tens. The end, the end, the end. And I feel like this is not, you're not carrying these things with you into 2022. Not doing it. And you started, you started that motion when you changed something about your appearance. Or when you started putting yourself first with your self-care. That's where this healing also comes in, this temperance. The universe also giving to you 
what you've been giving out into the world as well, as well. And the universe is bringing you unconditional love. You've been putting out unconditional love. You've been, no matter what has happened to you, been putting out this unconditional love. And this time the universe says, I'm going to bring it back to you. Ooh. Some of you guys that are single might be meeting somebody new. What is this? Yeah, options. The universe is bringing you options on New Year's. You might have a couple people noticing you, interested in you. This is, but somebody's being brought to you by the universe. Somebody's handing you somebody. Somebody's bringing you in contact with somebody. High priestess, somebody that's very intuitive, somebody that is actually um, gifted. This might be somebody that reads tarot, uh, a tarot reader, a psychic, uh, somebody that has a divine connection to God, to the universe. Somebody that actually probably expected you to come into their life too. Tell me a little bit more about this. Ten of Swords, this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Wands. King of Swords. Some of you guys might be... Well, you guys are an air sign, Gemini. So, I mean, to say that you guys might be up in your head is an understatement because you guys are usually all up in your head um, in your logical ways. But I feel like some of you guys are being asked to step out of this because there's endings behind this. I feel like the universe is asking you to lead with your heart and not with your head. Don't think too much about this. Go with what your heart is telling you. I feel like because you guys have been wounded in the past, you guys might feel some sort of way when you meet these people. Yeah, it's it's unconditional love being brought to you. Now I have a, a pair on the board. I have the King and Queen of Cups. These are both two very loving people. Don't get stuck in your head about these options, who to choose, your heart will lead you. Your heart will lead you. And this person very much is being led to you from the universe uh, through their heart too, an unexpected surprise and something stable and steady. Go slow. Go slow. Take it easy. Don't put pressure on yourself to move this along quickly. This is new. This is beautiful. This is being sent to you. From the universe divinely guided to you from the universe and um enjoy it enjoy it you're doing good you've changed but it's for the better <laughs> so gemini that's your reading for uh new year's thank you guys so much for being with me i really appreciate the likes the comments the subscriptions i really appreciate all the support and i'm looking forward to seeing you